pocket. So today I have um, work. What, what am I doing? I don't want this quest. Um, I have work today and I may have a meeting, but I don't know until like usually the last minute. So I will stream until I know at which point I can stop and then I can always come back later. There is not a problem with that, but I'm going to just keep an eye on my mail because he usually announces the cancellation by mail and then we'll, we'll figure it out from there. All right, so I just got my thing there. So let's go to clockwork, feed the crows. Feed the crows. Tuppence a bite. Tuppence, tuppence, tuppence a bite. That's actually a song from uh, Mary Poppins. Okay, that's horrific. Uh, somebody putting a scary thing on the forums. Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? I am dealing with Mr. Crow. Now, what do you want from my life? No, I can't give you that. I don't have enough. So you must go hungry today, Mr. Crow. Sadness for you. I cannot help you, Mr. Crow. All right, off to uh, off to Western Skyrim, where I will do my writs. Thanks to the follow for the follow from Lady Maraxes. You know what the worst thing is when I'm watching this later to index it, which I haven't done the last two days. And I see myself drinking coffee and I'm like, God, I really want some coffee. That would be amazing. <laughs> you know, and I'm usually don't have the coffee at the time in which I'm watching it. So it's like this cruel temptation. All right. Settings, gameplay, auto add to cart bag, on. So let's go mess. Usually by now what I would be doing is uh, letting everybody know that I'm streaming, but I'm not going to do that until I hear about my meeting. Because my meeting um, would make me stop and start again. Which is annoying. I need to send... Lady Maraxi is something. We'll see if I have an, any uh, any furnishings in my inventory that I can send her. Okay, how much? Oh, I do not have enough cloth. I need to go cloth hunting. Cloth hunting it is later. Jewelry hunting it is later as well. I think we have plenty of not fun ahead of us. Wood. How much wood do I have? I have enough wood. I'm good on wood. Ah. Hey, Ola. It's 
So just getting some shit done. Waiting to hear whether I have work or not. A meeting, anyway. I always have work. The question is whether I have a meeting or not. Tuesdays are the day. He usually cancels it, but I haven't heard yet. I hope he cancels it. I don't feel like ever having meetings. I think meetings are stupid. All I have to do is send him an email letting him know I'm, you know, what I'm up to. We don't need to have a meeting to do that. But I guess it's something managers like to do. I have a feeling we will have it today because it's been weeks since we've had one. No fun. No fun. That was my nickname at work. Hey lady, how's it going? I see you followed, thank you. Whoops, I wasn't supposed to put that one away. Come back, come back. Actually, what did I do? Did I put something stupid in here? It wouldn't surprise me. Do, 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 do. Dirt. Delete. Dirt. Stole. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay. Nothing from said boss yet. I keep checking. Hoping for the best. Alright. I'm just going to mail this stuff to myself real quick. My other self. I have a no minimum skill on my other character my other uh, account where I sell this stuff off. That way I don't waste my... Wow, those two have some serious numbers on them. Alright, I think... I think one. I think that's it. Just that and maybe my rolling pin, which I can't sell, and that, which I can't sell. You'd think a rolling pin would mail, would sell, but it just hasn't been. Go figure. through no if you can tell me your name on na if you're on na lady i'll mail you i'll mail you uh, a prezi because that's what i do i mail presents that's what i do I also look at houses, but, you know, that means doing something right now, and I haven't gotten there me yet mentally. Dragonthorn, Dragonthorn. Stole. Go to the stove. So we got Longfin. Put up my long fin. Corn. Ladies. The ring. Oh, 
think that's it. Yay, that's it. Cool. That guy just got a message from Griff that we check. <laughs> that's funny, Griff. <laughs> that's funny. No words yet. No, nothing. Nothing telling me. All right, so let's see what we got. Oh, forgot to change my hair. Okay. What have we? Oh, is today cow day? Is today the day of the contest? Hey, Swags. Today's the 21st. I think this is cow day. This may be cow day. Let me check. If it's cow day, I have to really consider what I'm doing here. Yeah, it's glorious golden cows today, isn't it? All right. I'm not going to um, intentionally show off any cows. So uh, I will avoid the cows so that um, Mr. J. Hart has the ability to, to tour them for the first time. And I, I, if anything looks like it's going to be a cow thing, I'll leave. Um, otherwise, there, that's what I'll do. I don't want to intentionally mess anything up. I want to guess that the chapel by Wur is probably a cow thing, but there's no way for me to know. Um, crap. It's hard for me to tell what is and what isn't. I bet you this is not. Cold Harbor Surreal Estate, Jerboa is waiting. Party Bird 7. Because that doesn't sound anything like a cow to me. So for those of you who don't know, what that means is... Um, Jay Hart, when he starts streaming today, is going to be doing his contest. Oh, okay. Oh, that insane one? That thing was just... When I saw the the uh, early version of it, I was just like, <laughs> "Ooh, wow, that's something to zone into." It's especially bad when you when I've been thinking about Chester lately, Chester Bennington. He's been on my mind. I, I listen a lot to an album by Mike Shinoda called uh, Post Traumatic. That's excellent, excellent, excellent album. Ah, okay. Oh, I forgot to get changed. Let us get changed into something different, shall we? We will look different. What costume should we put on? We'll do Song of the Night. Major adornments. Pick some gold, minor adornments, some more gold, and how do we look? I do like that one, Song of the Night. I think it's pretty, especially in gold. I think the gold color is really pretty awesome. So we've got a bunch of, um... hello, Professor Ashley and Research Monkey. We have so many uh, scholars here. Wait. Jerboa is waiting. Why is there a knife next to the Jerboa? Is it going to kill me? Okay, cool. Or is it, am I expected to kill the Jerboa? Because, like, that ain't happening. I don't get it. Please don't let the Jerboa kill me. Also, nice walls. And I, I don't want to kill the Jerboa. I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, I will. I will assume that I don't understand it and we'll move right along. <laughs> but it's cool. It's just I don't get it. Swankery will go to her domus. I hope it's not that. Wait, what? What? What are you doing? Oh, Lord. Hey, little fox, you're up again early 
It's just a regular Jerboa and it's cute, but it has a knife. And I don't understand why it has a knife. <laughs> why does it have a butcher knife? I think it's gonna kill me. So in case you didn't know, uh, there was an update to EHT, I think yesterday. Uh, if you're having trouble with EHT after the update, what I recommend is just remove it, save your Lua. Don't go in, don't delete the LUA files or save var. I mean, don't delete your save variable files, but delete the rest and then reinstall it. Your save variable files is where you have your, you know, your saved houses. So don't, don't ever delete that. Holy crap, that's gorgeous. So what is this wood? Is this all the new vampire wood? It looks, it looks, no. Those are the backs of trophies. What is that curvy stuff? That looks like maybe that part. Yeah, it definitely, once I installed the update, it didn't work right. So what I had to do was delete it reinstall the new one and then everything worked fine so if that's probably the same thing for you that's what i suggest you do to fix it um can't figure out what that part is but it looks like it could be vampire um we've got the folding dividers for pretty walls this is closed off but look at those lovely I think those are the red guard walls or the new walls, I forget which, that have the, and she added vines to it. And look at this lovely gardening. We've got buddy, buddy flies. Butterflies are free until they die, usually very quickly, unless they're a monarch, in which case they live for several years. Do, 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 do pretty flowers climbing up buckthorn that's lovely again with the nice walls let's head on in to the prettiness I like the potted plants up there you know the pots on the sills it's it's like a, a flower box but not as big so it really, I like it. <clears throat> Sorry, occasionally I'm going to have to check work, my ma email to see if work cancels on me. I'm hoping, keep your fingers crossed that work will cancel on me. All right, so do I need cooking fire stuff? I do, I need, no, I don't, okay. So over here, I don't know if you, that's really strange. Okay, so this is, these are carpets. Oh, thank you. Thanks, research. Um, that swankery is used for, for wallpaper, but is it me or do you guys see it too? There's hoof prints, one right there, one right there. One right there, one is kind of in the corner there. There's a repeating hoof print pattern. Thank you. I thought I was going nuts, but there are hoof prints. They're like horseshoes, like actual horseshoes. Why would a horse be standing on your carpet? Why do I notice these things? I'm such a freaking weirdo. Anyway, so this chest, which is like my favorite furnishing item ever, because look how awesome it is. She's put uh, some of the Bosmer uh, seats on top of it. I think they're seats. They may be the tops of the libraries or they may be the tops of seating or tables. Could be anything. I forget which item it is. Ooh, an Eleanor floor underneath with lots of layered carpeting. Hi, Orang. Those look like puffy pillows, the way you've used them. That's really cool. And of course, 
We've got a gorgeous custom fireplace with the wheels in front and one of the gates, I think. Beautiful. Domus is, is, it has got a lot of potential as Ula and I were discussing the other day. But just so you know, there are horses walking on the walls in this house. Clearly creepy and possessed. Oh, you put another one up there. That's beautiful. And this couch too. So you made a leather couch out of Bosmer furnishings. That's pretty cool. It looks good. Is that the bird cage? Upside down? And that must be the rain barrel with the Eleanor table. Oh, wow, that chandelier. Pretty. Look at that. You're really making use of the, of the wagon wheels in this house. And also, that's one of the new pots. One of the new solitude pots. Beautiful. That's like such a great golden pretty chandelier. A little bit of going upstairs. We've got more carpeting, more wallpaper rather. And then in here, I love this part of the house, the, the uh, bay window here. Oh, look at that. That's something that people do in real life. That looks really good. In fact, I have something like that in my kitchen. They're uh, vegetables on prints because I didn't know what else to put there. So I put those there. Um, hold on, just double checking work. No mail. I really like this. This reminds me of 1940s style furnishings. I have something that looks like this uh, that was a gift to me from my in-laws and aunt. Um, it's very almost deco-y, but it was a style in the 1940s and it's very pretty. And then, oh wow, what a great use of those. Yes, they do. That's a good point. Um, so she's using as a shade, one of those shades you pull down, she's using one of our maps, which we have 80 bajillion of. That's great. And the top of one of the Merkmeyer pots there. Okay, I have no idea how you did this. You have to tell me. This is genius. All right, those probably are... You know, I can't tell you. I seriously can't tell you. What did you do with the purple? Like, how did you... What is that purple? I don't know anything that that's, is that color. <gasps> no. They can't be Jester's boxes. Can they? They're too big. They are Jester's boxes? How did you do that? Jester's boxes don't, are they open? Is that how you did it? The butts. Okay, that is flipping genius. That's brilliant. Holy smokes. And then a uh, corner of something for the pretty blue purple. It must be another Jester's box. And then the tip of the pen is a tip of a pen, but holy smokes. Honestly, they, they don't really look like Jester boxes at all. That's fantastic. Really, honestly, blown away. That's, that's genius. Also, I like the use of the pots. You're using the pots in a... Oh, a soul gem. Cool. She said mug handle, uh, cup handles. Or, these are the cup handles. But look at those. That, that pot being used to make it even more pretty. I love the maps as uh, shades too. Okay, so I don't, 
I'm embarrassed because I don't like even know anymore what these things are. Like I can't tell you what that is. I'm I'm actually embarrassed because I I have no idea what the bottom piece is here. Uh, it's clearly a combination of a of a Murfmeyer bed and orc bed, but I can't tell you what those pretty rope things are. Yeah, that's that, but I don't think the ropes are part of it. Are they? Is the Argonian bed? Like, I don't know. Well, lady, uh, Swankery is just flipping genius. She's, she's like, her, uh, we have some of the best on right now. Ropes are orcish items. Is that the bottom of, of the orcish bed? It doesn't look like it. I have one. Maybe I just never noticed it. My swankery is housing goals, absolutely. Look at the uh, mirrors all placed like that. Oh, I love the inset alcove library. Are they really? I feel dumb now. Oh, look at that. The wedding lantern is simply like multiples of them so that they look like even more pretty. I'm trying to catch everything and not, not miss anything. You didn't put your fishies in yet. You're gonna put your fishies in. Uh, Swankery puts one of these in almost, I think in all of her homes and she puts uh, EHT fishies in them. And they're really adorable and I like look for it. This is great. Thank you, Swank. I, I've really enjoyed this. Try not to miss anything because with you, with you, I can miss stuff. I can see myself missing things and I don't want to. Because you all have so, so many genius ideas. I think she has plenty of them that are uh, open houses. All right, I gotta go check my orc bed. Not that I don't believe you, but because I never noticed it before. So, I need to see it in con in the context of that I used it so that I don't feel like a dumbass. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Come on, you could do it. You can do it. You can cancel if you want to. You can cancel all the time. This would please me greatly. So on the forums, I started a, for, a, a particular thread called, hold on, called what will you do with your new pathing guests and structural items? Tell me. Now the reason why I did that was because uh, with all the new stuff that we got, it seemed that a lot of people immediately followed it up with w w what they wanted, like other things they wanted. And I feel like we needed to do a little bit more of a thank you before we started jumping into gimme, 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 or we seemed really, uh, what's the word? Wow, it is there. Holy crap, I never noticed. Now I feel stupid. I bet you could make something really neat if you put one of them and then another underneath and then close to the circles. Wouldn't that be cool? Wow, how did I never notice that before? I feel like a dummy. Pretty cool. Orcs and their tusks. Wow, I never noticed that. I that's probably why I'm not a very good uh I'm not a very good what's the word? Cobbler? Because I don't notice things like that. I should. Because noticing things like that is how you make cool cobbles. Yeah, that's true. Alright, let's see what's next. So Jabroa is waiting, we saw. I'm not really sure what that was all about, but. <laughs> Averness's veteran home, Alphalothi. Ah, jaw. So I didn't enter the, the Moo house. 
Um, but I may enter some other stuff, but definitely not the Moo House. I just, well, I didn't have any ideas. No ideas. So the next one, I did enter with the farms and I did enter the Proud Spire Manor of Pride. Both are on the 25th. Farms is for DDA. Wow, look at all the, the floaties, the glowies and the butterflies. Butterflies are free. This home is full, 400 out of 400, no effects. Glowy, glowy and shroomy goodness. The week's uh, screenshot contest is uh, for DDA is Malabator, so I don't have any screenshots from there, so I'm gonna have to go hang out there for a while and try to find some pretty shots. Inside, we have two little sentries, Scuttle Bloom sentries. And then inside we have traditional dark elf furnishings, I believe. That bloom on that light is really irritating. It like white, it white, it washes out the colors of the room. You see what I'm talking about? They're, they're drunken. Are they really? I like the shelving, that that's not all equal. Look at that light bleed. I don't get light bleed. I don't get why it works like this and I don't get why they can't fix it. Light should not lead through walls. I don't understand why it does. Maybe I'm too critical. I'm never satisfied. Why do we scream at each other? <laughs> this is what it sounds like when you build a toilet. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Ch -ch -ch -ch. I'm a terrible person who sings terrible songs. So look at that. Not only are there paintings, but they use the taxidermy bird as a, as a, something they put on the wall next to a trophy. So they're really mixing it up in terms of what's up there. Yeah, it does. The bloom hurts my eyes. I don't understand why, why the light blooms were increased so much as to wash out the colors as well as uh, be painful to look at. You got me. So that's, thank you, Everness. That's really cool. All right. Everness has given us a lot to look at. Uh, Barry Bell Bell's Black Vine Villa, Clockwork Conundrum. This was published yesterday, so I don't think that this is a uh, cow house. So let's go. They are drunk. They could be. They could be drunk. So uh, baby boy, Kitty, is doing okay. He had two times where he was clearly in pain and yelling yesterday. But he, we, put a, we gave him his painkillers when he started yowling. And uh, other than that, he's okay. He spent a lot of time in my lap. Um, he's going to be... I mean, this won't be what kills him, essentially. So he'll get through this. But, I mean, I don't know how much longer his heart's going to last. So this person has added an extra floor, which is pleasing to me because this is such a small room. And look at this kitchen they created. With their, they created their own uh, countertops. Uh, all I would suggest is you move either that board or this board up a tiny bit or down a tiny bit because it's flickering. Because it's uh, a base game problem, which is that uh, two items in the exact same space will flicker like that. So you need to move one up or down. And I might add a little more lighting here because that candle doesn't seem to be enough. Ow! Ow! That poor butt crab. Ow. Yeah, it's... I mean, if they had a couple of items with light blooms, fine. But some of them are such bad light blooms. And these are stairs are handmade. 
by blocks and then there this is all uh, planks and then we're up here and we've got a nice desk with its own desk lamp <laughs> and treasure may be hidden behind here look at me I found the treasure I'm sneaky sneaky nice bedroom and then over here we've got the bathroom uh oh they're out of TP Somebody forgot the TP. That's not good. Well, there's some cloth over here if you need, but Jesus, find some TP, man. That's funny. This is adorable, Barry. Pretty cute. All right. Bushmaster Rome, Hockfields, Falkreath Hall. I don't think Falkreath Hall is Moo related, but you never know. I'm gonna try not to be ruining things for people, but oh, and those of you who are streamers, please don't feel shy about shouting out for yourselves. I always forget, but it doesn't mean that um, you all have access to this. A command so feel free to to shout out for yourselves professor Ashley did I I, I think there's a underscore under is that how it goes yes cool oh little fox didn't realize you were on little fox all right we got everybody I think Oh, you're most welcome. Follow all the housing people. The housing people are some of the nicest people you'll ever meet. They are. You know, my husband made a good point about housing streams. And I think this is true of all of our housing streams, of the people I just posted. Housing streams don't have a lot of really stressful sounds in them. Like, if you're a sound person who just needs to have a restful sound in the background you'll hear voices you'll hear maybe some music boxes some things like that but you're not going to hear like constant violent fighting with other players or dragons or whatnot generally for all of these uh these streamers you have a pretty relaxing stream and i know a lot of people are really looking for that because i get messages from people saying hey i watch your stream when i get home to relax and uh so all of these streamers have that element to it. I mean, they do other things too, but I think it's nice to remember that they have that benefit. This is Bushmaster Rome. They've got the new Basin of Loss. 697 items. I think we have a vampy home. Like I just guessing here. Just guessing. Wee! No. <laughs> we don't really fight research I adore you you've been there for me when I've gone through some really hard times you grouped up with me and made me feel better you're a sweetheart oh so somebody buried the water thing in here yeah you can see the, the feet of it but the, the, the azure lamp looks really kind of neat in a small enclosed area I'm not going to get it um, I feel like it's too expensive oop guy's running away. Why are you running away? Ashlander throne. Is that a toilet? Hi. Hello. Hi. He's full smoke, it said. Oh, wait, he's putting a, uh, he's putting things down. <laughs> You need to see it upside down. That is such a typical builder person thing to say. <laughs> That's hilarious, Villa Fox. <laughs> Sorry. Why would I change your mind? I just said it looked like a toilet, didn't I? <laughs> Alright, so that punch bowl does have that effect. I thought so. So that's not the Hilo Helot. That's, that is that punch bowl. I wouldn't, oh my god, how did I never notice that in the tree before? 
I never saw that in the tree before. That's horrific. Oh my god. I've seen like all the heads buried and shit, but I never saw that. <laughs> That's awful. Scary. Now you want to really scare me? Do something with that body at Chris at Halloween time cuz that would scare the crap out of me. You do scary things in your sketchbook? I would not. I see your stuff. Your stuff is lovely. I like how they made this into a, like a real garden, you know? Most people don't do anything with this this exterior portion like this. Only you, research. Only you. <laughs> so they've done a coral glowy section where they added granite and whatnot. I give you credit. I don't... I, I censor myself too much. So I'm always, like, rethinking as I'm going. I don't want to... Okay. This is blinding, but I think we know what's going on here. We've got... A dragon lid? <clears throat> oh, skeletal dragon. Dead bodies. People frozen. I don't know why the mammoth is here, but it looks like with the fabricant tree and all the lighting and everything that it's like a bad thing going down. Don't, don't, don't want to be there. Oh, look at that. So they alternated the lights so they got white light. That's neat. Maybe that is it. Maybe the mammoth did get lost, because it doesn't seem like the mammoth should be in such an evil place. Uh, it was an Alinori piece of furniture. That's all I know. I did not work out beyond that what that was. I don't know if maybe one of the viewers did, but I didn't see anyone. I didn't see anyone say what it was exactly, but it does, it, it's definitely Alinori from the color. That's all I could figure out. But I bet you that that house is going to be uh, on the stream today with Jay Hart, so you could probably ask then. I will probably miss the stream today because I have work, theoretically. That, his stream, I mean, not mine. Still don't have a message from the boss. Shocking, I know, really. All right, so this is that top of the stuff we were looking at with the coral and whatnot. So we've got some man-eating plants. We've got a sench. Mushrooms. I like the lamps. The just random lamps off like individually I think that looks really good did I go in the house yet I don't think I went in the house yet no ah I was just talking about this yesterday or the day before about how you can cobble a really decent um, stand or lamp or stand or table with those because they're a hundred gold a piece and I like how they look. They make a very rustic uh, stand type area. Sorry, I'm burning up. My office is way too hot. And then, what do we have in here? Oh, certain death. Interesting, they put, they put those lights in display cases around, but don't have the lights on. I wonder what that's for. I wonder what would happen if we, if they were all on. I wonder what the intention is. I have so many I wonders. This looks like a spot for treasure. Collected. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Confusing as hell. I like that. Alright. So I think we have explored this one as much as I can. 
Moving right along. So this was Butchmaster Rum, Humble Mud, Sea Jacks 25. It's a poop house. It's a poop house. Mate mate. Letting it all hang out. It's a poop house. Why do you people deal with me? I'm such a dumbass. <laughs> See Jack's 25. We've got a lovely interior as a matter of fact which looks like it has a second floor so somebody made this very cozy using some Merkmeyer things some dark elf things a few red guard and kajidi things it's very eclectic but i think the overall theme is is definitely uh argonian and then we we climb up the dark mother We've got a shower or a basin to wash up in. Very nice. I think that overrun with water pretty quickly. And then a toilet, which is a very unique toilet that I don't think I've ever seen anyone make one like that. I love seeing how many different kinds of toilets there are. Speaking of, uh, ESO Housing Network is holding a contest, Ray, regarding uh, toilets. So if you want to enter, go on to the ESO network uh, Discord. They're cross, they're cross server, cross platform, and the address should be underneath my face, underneath my uh, stream. If you just scroll down a little bit, you should be able to see it. I like that they stacked those plates. It makes it more realistic. I have not looked into actually, yeah, that's true. I haven't looked into actually entering it yet. I haven't made a toilet, so I'm going to have to really think about that. Very nice garden. Yeah, a lot of people do seem to get creative in covering poop, but some people just like it as a poop house. You know. We've got the feast out here. And actually, you're eating chicken and potatoes, so you're not even... You're eating root vegetables. Oh, wow. That's a neat. I like the way they use that. I like the way you use that. No diggity. I like to not bag it up. And then the king is the depressed, uh, non-poisonous plant that won't kill you. Ah! But it thinks about it. It wants to nom you. Om nom. Fun. I like the scare at the end. The nom nom. All right, we're gonna skip that one because that looks like a that looks like a cow one. We'll go to Lulu Sweetie Pie's Kragen Home. Poopy gone. Poopy gone. Mine is in the dark. You go in the backyard and it's a, just a giant fe glowing phoenix. So all you really see is the phoenix. You don't see the poop. I uh, believe that's an achievement item. I could be wrong. One of them's an achievement item. It's a, like a deactivated one. Go look in Merkmeyer. And then this is Kragenmore House. So I like what they've done here already in that if you check the floor, they put edging around it. So it doesn't look they, like things are just flying out of nowhere, growing out of nowhere. And then we've got a beautiful little fountain embedded in this structure, this multi-mushroom uh, structure, which is really cool. Yeah, uh, I don't think I have the achievement for it, which is why I've never bought one. We've got a fairy and beautiful, I love those mushrooms. Those are gonna come in handy when we build anything that looks like um, gray, uh, black reach. We're gonna need to use a lot of those. And we have a guar, a hidden guar, and we come in here and we have a bedroom. 
with oh what a cute shelf as it should oh my god i think that's the most creative <laughs> sink i've ever seen i adore it and i love those mushrooms anyway so that's adorable all right i'll be right back i need a quick break oops don't do that I'll be right back admire the sink Okay. Still haven't heard from Boss, so don't know what to do. I'm in love with that sink, though. I kind of want to marry that sink. Great job, Lulu. All right. We saw Party Bird's house. Ultra Kittens Boulder Tree. This may be um, a cow thing, but I don't know if it is or isn't. No, I've totally lost track of... If it wasn't a work day, I would have no idea what the hell we, day of the week this is. I've lost track of time. All right. Oh, pretty. Huh. That's really artistic. Look at the way that they crisscross the trees. That's really kind of stunning. They created like an arbor by doing that. A very natural yet beautiful arbor. That's gorgeous, actually. Um, over here we have a little space to sit. Do we have hidden stuff? They have some uh, additional rocks here that are not normally here and a pathway up because I see the moon rocks. The lunar uh, rocks that you get for, for really cheap from the, the Lux Fender. I see a bunch of those. They seem to have made a... Oh, so you can find this little spot to pray to kitty gods. That's pretty. I like it. Good call. 
very a hidden little worship area. And I, esp I especially appreciate the fact that they build up because as I say every time I, somebody builds up, that's my favorite kind of build is when people use the space above them as well or only. <laughs> We'll go around to the front and go through the proper way, but I figured we'd check out this stuff first. And then this way up, they used one of the Lux Tower thingies so that you can have a view down. Is there anything else up here? No. This is lovely. So I'm glad we came at night because I think the lighting is something special. Um, and then we have a stable, a kitty stable. Are you the like form master guy in charge or just the owner or something? You're, you're different than these guys. I don't know what it is. All right. And then we have a spot for whoever's in charge to sit. And then he has an audience. If you can, I would add a light over here here like in this area um it's just a touch too dim and then this is the bedroom presumably and with bricks at it that's unusual i like it sink tub kova brings elsewhere to the valen wood I wonder who Kova is. But yeah, it's it, it does what it says it does, and I like it. All right, let's go over to EU. Um, my meeting is supposed to start now, but I haven't gotten word from my boss, so. Oh, shit, man. Exactly to the minute he cancels. Thanks for the follow, look away quick. To the frickin' minute! Why didn't he do this before the minute it's supposed to start? I didn't need this kind of stress. God, he's so in... Very inconsiderate. I wish he would do it before then. So that I don't have to stress out. feet. Gah! No, he really doesn't. He really doesn't. Uh, not, if sometimes he'll, he'll let us know like five or ten minutes past the time that we are going to have one or that we aren't. And it's like, it's so frustrating and it leaves me with this sense of anxiety because I never know are we going to have it? Or are we not going to have it? Is it going to be late? Is it going to be on time? Is it going to be early? Am I going to find out and miss it? Like, what's going to happen? Um, it's a real stressful thing for me. <laughs> Too stressful that I care to admit. I, I just have an anxiety problem. When you add to it uncertainty, anxious people don't like uncertainty. <laughs> I assure you. Like, ah. Whatever. He is, a. Uh, He's not a bad guy. He's a really nice man. It's just a frustrating thing that they do, that he does. Yes, but he pays me money, so, you know, whatever. Uh, BMW, July 28th. If you're in BMW, uh, no, he just didn't. He said, just no meeting today. See you next week, or whatever it was. It's like the fourth week in a row he said that. <laughs> Not that I actually want a meeting, but whatever. July 28th is a unique antiquity. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that one yet, because I actually don't know what, what I would do. Um... What I probably need to do is find a house that J-Hard hasn't seen and update it. <laughs> ah, that is 
that's funny. I'll give you that. All right. Let's see, what haven't I visited? Alakina Earth Terror, the Lost Isolantians. Earth Terror is not my favorite house because it's so huge, but let's check it out. I have a griffin. Griffin, I have a griffin. So yeah, um, I have a list of all the houses that I have and which ones I've submitted. Yeah. And to whom? Like, which ones went to J Hart? Which ones went to DDA, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I'm not sure which one I would submit to him for a contest, if anything. I feel like I, I, I may hit, he's maybe seen all of them. Wait, 698 items in this, folks. I'm guessing it's behind us because there's literally nothing in front of us. If I zoned into this house, I would have honestly thought that there's nothing in this house. So maybe a, a, a pointer, a sign, something pointing me to go to this way would be good. So I didn't, you built a whole friggin' town. Oh my God, Alakina. My favorite thing, towns. Seriously, they're like my favorite builds ever are towns. This is great. Check it out. So you've got a little magic-y enchanting room. This is fantastic. Right on the water. Oh, look at the puppy. He fits perfectly on that blanket. He looks just right. And you've got alchemy in here. Alchemy, yes. And there's that guy again, that that Heidi flower. Sure, alchemy spot. And noms and dying, in case you wanna dye stuff. And then uh, jewelry making. That's cool. It is true, that doggo looks quite happy too. Buy storage here. I love the boats. Somebody went to the trouble of earning the boats. Oh my God, let's pick it all up right now. What a clever idea. Except there should be somebody here trying to pick it all up like Parari. Like put Parari crouching trying to pick it all up. That would be funny. Oh, she's over here. I see her. She's in the rat way. See her? With a, with an hourglass. Parari, with an hourglass in the rat way. Then, wow, this is a better spot for a town than I ever imagined because they built up there too. We're gonna have a lot to look at. This is pretty slick. I'm a big fan of this. Now, what you can tell too is that they did in fact use some crown items. You can tell because look at the windows. Those blue ones, those are crown only. And then we have a blacksmithing station that they've gone to the trouble of making look like a real forge. They know a little about blacksmithing. And this is just machinery for probably for the forge. And then uh, random doors. Let's, I mean, we'll go upstairs after we check this all out. We've got the sewing area. Which, why the hell not, right? Do some research on here. And you got this, this is a crown bridge. Um, as much as it's annoying to have to use money, real money, <clears throat> this can save you a ton of spots, slots. If you're going to do like 
let's say you're going to do uh, Forge Masters and you don't want to use the Orcish homes in the be in the beginning, I would say buy a bunch of these and have it arc all the way up to where you want it to go. Look at that cute little extra house they stuck up there. That's adorable. I mean, just remember, it's, it's saving you slots. And it would let you go correct directly over anything you don't want to bother with. I'd consider it. Food and wood. Hello, wood. And a third floor. This is where we keep Vardenfell. And docking rope. All right, so let's see what's across here. This is great. I, I truly adore towns. They are so creative and there's so much to look at and they're fun. That's an interesting combination of the moon well and the calendar. It looks like it goes. What's in this house? The little back entry, I think. Or no, just the stairs up to the roof. A lot of elsewhere pieces is what they use to build this. And you can get a good view of the town from, from up here. I like that they made it spread out. This is really cool. It just continues. This is a really good spot for a town, and I never realized it. So I'm impressed that this person, you know, thought to do this. That is a really cool counter. I wish I could get a clear view of it, but they've made a, a cobble counter here with that red guard table. This must be the... Um, what is it called? Food court. This must be the food court. We've got the bar here. Fishies, meats. Books, maybe a book, book seller, I'm not sure. Then it's not necessarily the food court. This is where the Argonians eat because they're weird. What's upstairs here? Lots of entries into little residences. Up here too. Really pretty. Somebody likes nocturnal. And then the Moppets with the, the little Haro thing, whatever it's called. Some little kid lives here and somebody's doing laundry. I'm assuming in the tub, maybe? Not sure. And then they've got, I guess it's daytime because the stained glass is glowing. What's this sneaky sneaky? Thanks for the follow, Angie Locke. You know, I need to send things to people who are on EU. But I don't know which of you are in, on EU. That's the problem. That didn't work. I keep hoping I'll figure this one out. <laughs> if it's you, let me know so that I can fix it. If you're on PC EU. Nope. Nope. Nobody loves me. I can't send you presents. Oh, look at the kitty up here. Nice little clever touches like that. They really do it for me. So this person, I'm hoping what they did is they decided what they needed from the crown store and then made a list 
and then went to one of the crown sellers. And I say this because there are some uh, crown scammers out in DDA. We got, we got scammed pretty hard by the same guy multiple times. Um, oh, you're on NA. Okay. Um, his name is occasionally Minor Monty. And... What's his name? No, I'm not on the guild. I was just going to send you something. Um, Minor Monty and I forget his other name. Um, but, he, you know, I would suggest for the next however long that what you do is you use a insured exchange like Tamriel Crown Exchange or World Crown Exchange. Uh, I think that would be the better choice right now because um, here, this is for Tamriel Crown Exchange. They do PCNA and EU. And my suggestion for that is because not only do I know the owner and I know she's a decent human uh, owner, it's like a consortium of people who run it. But also, um, as look away quick, or is it a different name? Um, but also because they insure every exchange. If something should go wrong with one of their sellers, they will refund you the money. So they have an entire like set of money put aside so that no one ever gets ripped off and, and, and not given their funds. So... This is great. Uh, I'm in love with this house. This is fantastic. Look at all the levels. It's just great. Fantastic job, Alakina. I'm really impressed. Goats! So yeah, I would, I would definitely use for right now. Sure, let me send you a Prezi. Uh, I would say for right now, Vicky knows. Use the um, the trades, the trade groups. It's going to be a little more expensive, but so is being ripped off. And we've had people lose in the millions now. It's very sad. It's just rotten that people would do that to one another. Whole inner champion, something in Russian. Grim Dallahan. I don't know. People are awful that they would do that to one another. The worst part is, is that this guy had been doing real trades for a really long time and the guildies had used him before and had good satisfying exchanges with him. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, he starts ripping people off. It's almost like it wasn't the same person or maybe something. It was weird. So I see treasure. I don't know what that says. Do any of my Russian speakers know what that says? TCA is fantastic. I've used them on NA plenty of times. Any of my Russians? Or my Griffins? Know how to read that? No, it's possible. It's possible the person got hacked. But the thing is, Temple and Rimen, thank you, Ula. Um, I thought maybe it was something else. It's possible, but the thing is, is that if it is, he hasn't tried to come back and claim his character, which I think all of us would be like, oh, okay, that's what happened. But he hasn't. He just took off and... You know. Oh shit, yeah. Or you could, I could trade you. Uh, yeah, research, I think you're right. Honestly, I think research is right. You know who I'm talking about, right? You're in DDA. I can't remember his other name, but one of them was Minor Monty. Yeah, it's true. 
was hor horrible that they did that, too, because they could have had a decent deal going on for quite some time. And yeah, I'm, I'm okay. And you know, he was selling for really cheap too. He was selling for like 120, which is way cheaper than anyone else. Um, so, wow. This is like a, this reminds me of a build for Shao or something. I'm not gonna do the hopping, but We'll, we'll, no, no, Stabbies can't do this. No, 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 no. Cook, oh, Cookie Crafter, thank you. Cookie Crafter, that's what it was. Couldn't remember the other name. Uh, so that's who it is, guys. And be careful and, and watch out for them. But also, you're never going to know if they change their name. So... For now, my best suggestion to you is pay the pay the premium if you can of going through um, TCE or, or World Crown Exchange, whoever your favorite is, uh, that ensures your deals. Or work something out with Disco because I'll guarantee you Disco doesn't rip you off. Because if he does, I'll pay back your money. But Disco is not going to rip you off. <laughs> He is not going to rip you off because he's a decent human. Um, whatever you want to do. Oh, you're welcome. Fishies are fun, aren't they? They're just a little something, but they're fun. <laughs> I fell in the water. Those look like bubbles. Yeah. No, you're a decent human. You're a decent human. You would never hurt people. That's pretty obvious. I like the bubbles. That's such a clever idea. I really need a light on this character. I say this every time. Next time the treasure hunter comes around, uh, I am, oh, Disco, forgot. There we go. Disco Sleaze uh, is a musician and he's a really decent human. And sometimes he does racing games, and sometimes he does ESO, and I think I've seen him do Diablo, but I'm not 100%. Um, you should go check him out. He is a lot of fun to watch, and very chill. So if you just, you don't need to stress out, uh, he's a good person to watch. He's along the lines of, of real war hamster, etc. Very much chill, decent humans. The war hamster, I don't think, loves me anymore. <laughs> I, I kid, I kid. He's, he's fine. He's just, a, he's back after a little hiatus. All right, so this part is empty, but let's keep going. All right, we've seen that. Amaya, we haven't seen. Tapio, Amaya. Tapio, Tapio, Tapio. You know, I should make an announcement to people about that scammer. Please be aware. Minor Monty slash cookie. What was it? Cookie. Why can't I reload? Or roll back. Here we go. Cookie crafter. There you go. Posted. That way everyone in my Discord at least, you guys will have a warning. And then in case you want to join the, the potato stream, that should work if it doesn't tell me. Um, the potato patch, actually I call it. And the nice thing about it is I have a whole section for promote yourself. So you folks can just come on and, and put anything you want that promotes yourself your business your uh your music your streams whatever you want please just feel free come on and promote yourself i i want to help support the community so don't just don't be afraid to do that i wish more sites would more groups would allow that so i made it clear yeah it's perfectly okay 
Kramot. Okay. Oh, Tuesday morning is also trash pickup, so you may be hearing trash trucks outside. If they are getting, they're kind of loud for me, so hopefully they're not. I really want to see somebody make this into legs to something. I'm going to have to do it eventually because other people aren't. So these are those Lux items, the stands. Ah! You know, that one's supposed to last forever. I suck. Hold on. Expire after never. Select numbers of uses. No limit. Generate new link. Copy. Copy. All right, here we go. I'm going to fix that. That should work, first of all. And secondly, that means I need to fix one other thing. Bah. Oh, good. Thank you, MJ. That's, I appreciate the info. Let me copy that again. Come on. Come on. Why can't I copy you? You suck. You suck. Yeah, that one should work from now on, hopefully. Um, it says it doesn't expire, but you know, that's what the last one said, and it didn't say it wasn't true, so I think it's a liar. I think it's a lying liar who lies. There. So now that one I have saved. Okay, cool. And there's a lot of fun stuff in there. Uh, lots of ideas for housing. Uh, I don't get anything out of it. I'm not promoting it because I get money or anything. It's completely, I'll never ask you guys for money. I'll never ask you to sub. I'll never ask you to do any of that stuff. And it's against my religion. So my religion of potato-ness. And that's interesting. I've never seen anyone do that. So they kind of made it uh, attached to a support. That's interesting. I mean, I have another job that pays the bills, and my husband has a job that pays the bills. Great kitchen. So I do this because I love housing, and I don't want anything else out of it. So feel free to take advantage of it, of whatever you can. So they made this all clockworky in here. Reminds me of uh, Swankery's somewhat. Although Swankery's Amaya on the PCNA has a giant ship in it. <laughs> so it's a little different. Um, wait a minute. I think I see. Okay, no, I'm not being cooked. I thought these were potatoes for a minute. And I was like, what are you doing? I'm having, I had a lot of trouble with that one too. Um, I had trouble with the ones that didn't exist that I was friggin' looking for for ages in Balfoyan and Malibator until they finally said, oh yeah, that wasn't dropping. Thanks. Thanks, folks. Thanks. Nice little collection of all of them. I don't even want to tell you how many hours I spent trying to get those things. It's pathetic. I think that's it. So this is like a very clockworky home. A home that really speaks to the person's personality, I think, who, who lives here, things they like. I haven't actually like done any of the jewelry or the, um, the gear stuff because I actually don't know what's good and what isn't. You know what I mean? Like I'm kind of clueless when it comes to that. Now, I've seen a bunch of the Real Adoring fans stuff, so it's possible that I've seen the Real Adoring fans. Yeah, I've been to Real Adoring fans, uh, Moonshire. 
So let me pull up on what Ula was saying. Okay. M4KH4. MKH, Karen. MKH4. No, M4KH. Oh, my Lord. Okay, I've just seen their Forge Masters. I have not seen their Cold Harbor, but we've seen a card delivered today. Mubalothi, Olaf the Terrible, Winter 08. Okay. Serenity. Winter 08, Serenity Falls. I usually hate Serenity Falls, but we'll see if it's a good one. Thank you, Lula, for the suggestions. Much appreciated. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Oh, uh, uh Griff. Griff responded with a wink. He said, damn it, Ula got got to it before me because Griff speaks or reads Russian. It's his, it's his subject. Okay, so this is, this is amazing. This is completely different from what I'm used to uh, Serenity Falls looking like. I think his PhD is in something like Russian oh crap I once knew it I don't know it anymore I something to do with Russia Soviet Soviet something Soviet something okay I could try that I could try that I kind of want everybody to put a head on this one to make it silly. Look at all these. Everything is so alive. There's so much movement with the butterflies and the glowies and the smoke and the pets. Wow, that's pretty cool. This is very vibrant. I think they closed off the entire house, which frankly, I'm glad. Never been a big fan of the house. So this is, this is, to me, the best thing they could have done. Use the force. Oh, that poor boat. It went over the cliff. That boat, it smushed on the cliff. It's very sad. I cried. Seems like there's some drama going off here with like stuff knocked over heads missing on statues boats over the edge wonder if there was some sort of earthquake or or unexpected thing this is lovely though and look at that little seat that throne right at the top that's a good way to die although you gotta figure that uh oh look at the little lights up there that must look lovely at night you gotta figure, though, uh, that a Bosmer has such good balance that they probably could sit up there without any trouble. Because if you consider all the trees and everything that they go from, it would make sense. And they say. Can't you fall? Yes. Joss. Elleth. Let's see what Elleth's got. Yeah, I've seen those. Elleth. Okay, barbed hook, rosy line, we've seen both, but there's another one. St. Ellen's. Hmm. 
I'm going to be spending a lot of today doing indexing because I didn't do yesterday's index or the day before. And so I got to index what everybody, what houses I've visited. I try to put down the theme and the time in the video. It's a lot of work and it takes hours, but I feel like people are more likely to watch their own stuff if I give them exactly where to look at in the video. That's what I would want. Maybe that's just me. Oh, I'm glad. It's it's just one of those things that, you know. Oh, you're welcome. I, th I mean, I would want it. If I see that, it's like, that's true. Yeah, and it's helpful to me as well because then I can go, oh, you know, I know there was a house with this in it. And if I search for it, sometimes I can do it. Now, keep in mind that Twitch changed their linking system. So everything I did now that was linked to Twitch, the link no longer works. So the videos, I have to refix the links. But even if you find it, <laughs> even if you find it, um, and it shows you the date, and then you can just look on YouTube and it'll have the exact video. Oh, are they? And Jay Hart's gonna stream any minute, isn't he? What's Bethesda talking about? Are they doing ESO? Or are they just being weenies? Oh, they are doing ESO. All right, well, I'm done anyway, so I can just knock, it us, knock us over. This is lovely, by the way. I'll just send us over to Bethesda, okay? And then we'll watch. That was done anyway, so this works out. All right, folks, let's go on over to Bethesda and get our prezzies. Let's do that, shall we? Create our dashboard. I swear I can do this, I swear. Yes, Huggles as well. That's all right. I mean, I was done anyway, so. Raid channel. It makes sense. Let's start our raid, shall we? You're welcome. And off we go. 